This knot will be the figure eight on a bite. The bite is simply a bend in the rope, such as this. You're going to place it in your left hand. You're going to go under the rope, grab it, bring it back around once, back up through the hole you created, and pull tight. Figure eight on a bite. <clears throat> the next knot will be the sheet bend. Joining a large diameter rope and a small diameter rope. First thing you're going to do is take your large diameter rope and make a bend or a bite. Next, taking the smaller diameter rope, I'm going to feed it into the bite from the bottom. Take it around both portions of the larger rope, then go back under the smaller rope itself, keeping it on the top side of your bite, then taking both ends, pulling firm, working it tight. Now we have a sheet bend. The next knot we're going to go over is the two half hitches used to tie uh, say uh, a guy line for a tarp or um, a tent stake. But uh, the first thing you're going to do is pass the row under and back through to form your first half hitch. To form the second one, you're going to go under the main rope, back through the hole you just created, and pull it tight, forming a double half hitch. Such as that. The next knot in the, in the series that we're going to do is the top line hitch. I like to use it on my tarp setup or for guy lines on a tent or just for a, a clothesline it works pretty well too. But first thing you're going to do on a pole or say through your tarp grommet or even uh, a tent stake, you're going to loop around the object with your rope. Make sure you have a pretty long tail as you're going to have a lot of work to do with it. So the next thing you're going to do is go through, back through the loop once, twice. So now it should look like that. Bring in the rope back parallel to the line end of it. Go under, back through, and pull tight. Now on this big line, on this little pole, this isn't uh, the best method. But as you can see, that, that's, that's what it would be. I will slide that off to the side and tie it with paracord once so that people can see what it looks like on more on a working line. Once, twice, back parallel, go under back through, pull tight, and now I have a working taunt line. And all you have to do is adjust your tension on your line to make your line shorter or longer. <laughs>